Okay, in this video I will install VMware ESXi 6.x on VMware Workstation. And as you can see, I have uh, I will create a VM inside VMware Workstation with uh, of ESXi server with 12 gigs of RAM, 8 CPU cores, and 4 NICs. I have mounted VMware 6. ESXi 6.0 update 1 ISO and let's power it on. As you know, installation is very straightforward. There is nothing special in ESXi installation. And what I will do. Uh, I will have three ESXi servers. I will show you installation of one of the ESXi servers and the rest two will be exactly the same with an exception of you know change of hostname and IP address. So I will show you installation of one of it and the rest you can follow along. I mean, if you want to follow along with me, you can use the same procedure and install other two ESXi servers. If you're installing ESXi inside workstation, it's very straightforward. All you have to choose, all you have to do is just select ESXi, ESXi 6 and its choice is all there when you create a new VM. Then you can set your hardware specs accordingly. Make sure it has at least two CPUs, four gigs of RAM, and if and the more you beefed up, it's better for your lab. I will have three SXI servers with eight CPU, eight CPU cores, basically two CPU with four core each and twelve gigs of RAM in each ESXi server. In addition to that, I will install like a vCenter, which I will give around 12 gigs of RAM, plus ISCLC storage and a domain controller with 1 gigs of RAM each. That should be sufficient. So right now it's booting up and I will pause it and I will come back again when we have some action or some choices to make. Okay. Welcome to ESXi 6 installation screen. Of course, press enter to continue. F11 to accept the license agreement. Right now it's scanning for available device and found the local hard drive. Right now my ESXi is not connected to SAN storage. So all it has is the local storage and that's what it's visible. And that's where I will install ESXi hypervisor. 40 gigs is the space. I will go ahead and enter. US default is fine. And root password. The time I'm recording this video, ESXi 6 update 2 is available, but I did not get the chance to download it. What I have is ESXi 6 update 1, 
and that's what I'm going with it. Maybe in some video in future I might cover how to update ESXi 6 update 1 to ESXi 6 update 2. As you know, usually when we update our ESXi servers, either we use via update manager, if we have like a vSphere environment, or if you have less number of hosts and you like some more control, you can go for individual one by one upgrades. You can download those updates in zip format for example um, you can SSH, SSH to host and update I will show you and I will show you some references um, that video uh, I will cover how to update ESXi anyway uh, hardware check is complete and now want me to continue so I'll press F11 and now installation is started so what I will do, I will pause the video again, and when the installation is finished, I will start capturing it again. Okay, installation has been successfully completed, or ESXi is successfully installed. Now it want to it want to reboot and. I will press enter for that and while it's rebooting once again I will pause the video and once the server will come back I will resume again because after that we will log into server using root account and then we will set host name, IP addressing and all those necessary stuff. Okay, ESXi is back. It took an IP from DHCP, which is not good. Uh, I, at least I don't want that. I would like to have it static. So what I'll do, well, or what we need to do is press F2 for customization. And Okay. One thing I'll show you. Okay, I'll show you later. Just let me first let us first do necessary stuff. VM NIC zero is there, right? Because what I did, I had four NICs. I connect just one of it and disconnect all other rest of the three. Uh, it detected that this NIC is connected, so it select this NIC for management network for management network and took an IP address. To it. Easy this way. Otherwise, you know, otherwise it's also possible. You can always go to network adapters and see, and you can choose for default management network. In my case, it's I would like to stay with VM next zero the one which is connected and that's all good for me about IP addresses you go for static IP and which IP I would like to give okay let me pull up my notes here sorry ESXi1 will be 192.16.0.241. Okay. So 192.16.0.241. Default subnet mask is fine. Default gateway 0 0.1 is also okay. I would like to disable IP version 6 will require restart which is fine with me 
primary DNS server is 200, which is my domain controller. And host name is esxi1.itsense.com. Okay. Yeah. I'm not setting any VLAN here. Um, it wants it asking that because we have made changes or you like to reboot the host look if you change the IP address it will, it, all it needs is just to restart the management network but in our case or in this case what I did I disabled IP version 6 and that requires a reboot so okay why not so now it will reboot And again, I will pause pause this video and come back when it's ready. Okay, F2 customize, typing root password, okay, that time I want, the thing that I want, I wanted to show you is there's troubleshooting options and here you can enable ESXi shell access or SSH which is sometimes very um, very handy that if you want to connect ESXi and somehow it is good sometimes you may need to connect ESXi directly through SSH and perform some some stuff for example I was talking about updating ESXi in this case all you have to do is just upload files log into ESXi and run the command to perform update. So when it comes to that you can all you can always enable it from here if you want. Restart management agents that's another option. That's the the other side was remember that was management network. This is management agent. Okay. So, ESXi looks good. So, I think that's pretty much wraps up this video. So, I will see you in another one. Thank you.